As China's influence steadily expands around the globe, people are becoming interested in getting to know the country's culture. A correspondent, Mu Fanzhou, reports. The treasure of China's theatrical arts are being taken abroad more often than ever. One of Chinese people's all-time country opera favorites, the Peony Pavilion, has been introduced to Western drama critics. Dubbed the Oriental Romeo and Juliet, the play now has several adaptations, including Taiwan playwright Pai Xin Yong's world-acknowledged youth version and the ballet version adapted by National Ballet of China. The dance performance packed the nine-hour-long story into two hours and has been performed on grand stages like the Edinburgh International Festival. This is a perfect bridge between the UK and China because it is a fusion of Western dance, Chinese dance, Kun Chu, um, Western instruments and traditional Chinese instruments. So in itself, it's also a cultural bridge, a bridge that I think will speak very eloquently to uh, European audiences, but is extremely representative of the very best of classical Chinese um, performing traditions. Besides reinventing traditional hits, both independent artists and state-owned troops are trying to showcase Chinese aesthetics while creating new material. Stage productions like The Legend of Kung Fu, The Charm of Dunhuang, and My Dream from China Disabled People's Performing Art Troupe have already impressed worldwide audiences and go on tours regularly every year. Silk Road and Flower Rain is another one of China's latest drama exports. Gansu Song and Dance Theatre team up with China Arts and Entertainment Group, a state-owned corporation to launch Image China. It was made in an effort to unite independent artists for a greater collective impact on the world's theatre scene. Image China is a cultural brand started in 2009. We have promoted dozens of outstanding Chinese stage performances to mainstream theaters in Europe, America, and Oceania, and we're confident that it will be welcomed by American audiences. We also hope that Silk Road can survive a space in the competition in the U.S. and become a successful commercial show. And there's still much more to be done. A reform to boost China's culture industry is underway, encouraging art groups to further collaborate with foreign counterparts. It seemed to be a daunting task for the artists to step out of their comfort zones and try to connect with the international audience. But they're stepping up their game. They're not only competing in the fierce global theater market, they're also sharing their love of Chinese culture with the world's contemporary art scene. Mu Fangzhou, CCTV, Beijing.